cobwebs are blocking our driveway. They don't stay inside the electric fence because they don't have to, they're small. <laughs> so let's get these guys out of the way so I can get on my way. We are now up to seven calves. We have um, five that are bull calves and two that are heifer calves. Go on, little girl. Hey, YouTubers, welcome back to AZ2 Ozarks. It is bright and early on Saturday morning and I am on the road on my way to the farmer's market. I have had some questions about what my setup looks like and what the farmer's market is like. And so I figured I'd take you along for the ride this morning. So we live down a dirt road, which I'm currently driving down. And for that reason, I load up all of my food products inside the cab with me. And so it's kind of a tight squeeze, but I've got it worked out just right. And then I put all of my equipment and display in the back of the truck. And even though I have a cab over, it doesn't matter, it still can get dusty down there. So I like to keep all the food in here with me. It's about a 20 minute drive to the market. We'll get there and we'll get started setting up on this foggy morning. I am here now is the scramble to unload, unpack and get ready in less than an hour before customers start arriving. Okay, I got the booth all set up with a little bit of time to spare so we can check out the booth and then we will go around and check out the other vendors. So here is my booth all set up and we each have a, you know, the space of an easy up. So it's a 10 foot square. Um, we do accept EBT and other local food programs. There's a senior food program and other things that we do accept here. So first I have all of my sourdough breads. I do slice some of them because there are customers who like the bread sliced. Others like it whole to do with what they will. Some people like to make soup bowls or thick slice for um, French toast or things like that. Um, I also offer samples. So I have my granola, some sourdough and the sugar-free jams. This week I tried out making some smaller half size loaves because all my loaves are two pound loaves, but these ones are one pound because I do have some people who request a smaller size because it's just one person in the household and they don't eat as much. I like to have something gluten free for people. Um, I have some seasonings, the sugar free jams. We're now offering our organic soy free eggs. Um, all of my loaves are weighed and so when I have extra pieces I just make up a sampler pack with the extras and then our garden is really slowing down right now but we do have a little bit of produce to offer there and then we also have our yeast spreads over here Hala is very very popular so I offer it with no toppings and then three different types of seeds Pumpernickel rye is pretty popular. Rye seems to be really popular here versus Arizona. Cinnamon swirl bread is always a good choice. Then I have some hollow rolls, some extra hamburger buns, and then the bottom shelf just filling out. So I do make the hamburger buns for one of the other vendors here. Um, he sells beef and he also sells cooked hamburgers. So I make his hamburger buns and we'll go deliver them to him next. back here in my truck I have everything that doesn't fit on the shelves so I can restock with and then here is my case of hamburger buns this week he ordered 90 because there is a special event and so there's a lot of people 
So let's check out some of my neighbors. Over here is a really awesome bath and body booth with all kinds of homemade chapsticks and soaps and smelly goods. This is just all kinds of really awesome stuff here. It smells fabulous. And then over here we have a woodworker, Mr. Earl, and he does beautiful work. And look at these walking sticks with the morel mushrooms. My son just loves them. Um, he loves the wood carving, but he also does portraits of people. So he can take a picture of you or your dogs and then make wood carvings and wood burning. So it's really nice being near Earl. He's a fabulous neighbor. Over here we have some lovely sewn goods. These are bowl holders and hand towels, all kinds of fun stuff. And then, oh, the sweets. Always the sweets. Next we have some produce and this gentleman, he grows wonderful mushrooms. They are so tasty and delicious. I don't know how you do it, but they are awesome. He also sells peaches that are really good. So lots of yummy produce over here. Continuing on, we have Secret Springs Farm and they have all kinds of really cool tinctures and salves, goat milk soap, um, lots of loose herbs that you can make teas with. And just this last week, they released their applesauce for the fall season. And I can tell you what, I tried it last year. It was so good. And then one of my favorite things they offer is their elderberry syrup. So when you're getting a cold or anything like that, the elderberry syrup is really awesome. How are you guys this morning? Great. Good, how are you? Doing good. All right, so lots of good stuff. I love this market. And then we have Ford Family Farms. And she usually has the best peaches that are available at this market. Right now she has some jams because our peach season is kind of ending. And then we have all kinds of different flavors of pork rinds and they also offer funnel cakes. Next we have Ozark Fruit Company and they have so many varieties of jams and jellies and syrups. And the ones that we like are actually the jalapeno jams. So we use these to put them into a sauce and um, make really yummy stuff. How are you this morning? Good, good. How are you doing? Doing good. Are you hoping for a big day? God willing. Oh, we hope so. <laughs> and then they also have lots of honey. Do you guys raise the bees on your farm? We do have bees on our farm, but these are an apiary just 20 miles south of here that we partner with and we sell their product. Okay, awesome. But you guys have a blackberry farm, right? We, we raise blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, yes, and we have a commercial kitchen which we make all our jams and syrups. That's awesome. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Next we have Sergeant Dan and he sells all kinds of wonderful beef that is super yummy but he also serves fresh hamburgers here at the market and you can also get a combo with chips and a drink so he's like our go-to lunch spot here. He starts that grill up and then I'm drooling all day. Exactly, we can't resist. Next we have the Yoder family and they have all kinds of yummy baked goods super delicious and their hand pies oh my goodness my kids love their hand pies how are you ladies this morning good glad to hear it they also have produce i'm guessing their um their garden's slowing down like mine is because usually they have huge tables full of all of their beautiful produce go ahead <laughs> And then we have a new vendor over here and they are selling pumpkins and fall mums and they are just beautiful. Such a lovely display. Walking down the way. I have to admit that this is my favorite booth out of all of the booths. <laughs> Falling Spring Farm offers um, fermented goods as well as kombucha. And my favorite flavor is the ginger turmeric. That is absolutely the best one here in my opinion. How are you guys this morning? I'm good. And they are multi-generational. So they've got their kids and grandbaby here. It's pretty awesome. And I love that they have the kombucha on tap. So you can have samples of it. And then you can also um, just refill bottles and everything. It's really cool. 
They also offer some super good keto treats, which is nice when I'm behaving and following the diet. <laughs> let's see, oh, I missed the whole other side. So let's go back down to the end down here and check out, oh, we've got Brassfield Farms as well. Brassfield Farms offers really awesome fresh raw dairy as well as all kinds of different meat. Down here at the end, there's woodworking and signs. He has some beautiful benches, very lovely. And here we have some rabbits and birds. Um, I believe these are mini Rex rabbits. Uh, my daughter had asked about them last time and then some plant starts there. Collins Nursery offers all kinds of different um, trees and shrubs. I got my silver dollar eucalyptus here because I think those are so beautiful. But he always has a wide selection of trees and shrubs. Here we have the plant starts and some produce. Ooh, I see those sweet potatoes right there. I'm getting ready to harvest mine that I'm really excited about. She also has a few little baked goods. Good morning, how are you today? So what do you have? You have... I have uh, keychains and pins and etched glassware and all kinds of pretties for Christmas. Awesome, and are you a new vendor? I am. Well, welcome, I'm Cassandra. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And then Gertie has all of her beautiful sewn things. Oh my goodness, her aprons I just love. And wow, we have some new items here, some t-shirts and sweatshirts and some fall pillows. I just love these. I love this style. Some bonnets. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. Continuing on down the row, some baked goods and fall decorations. I won't interrupt. She's with some customers and cookies, <laughs> cinnamon rolls. And then Ron has microgreens, which are really awesome, and a few other produce items. I see he has green beans today. And then Pruitt's produce, um, she always has lettuce, and she grows um, aquaponically here, which is really cool. Um, so I think right now she's using goldfish for her. What kind of fish are you using? <laughs> Catfish and perch. Catfish and perch for her aquaponics, which is really cool. And then she has some other produce as it comes into the garden. She usually has some unusual and unique things, which is awesome because those are the things that I like to have. So you can see here she has um, little gherkins and the sakim cucumber. Is that how you say that one? Asian. I, your guess is as good as mine. All right, but she likes to have unusual <laughs> items, which is really cool. I like um, promoting seed diversity. Next, we have Hannes, and Hannes is offering his pasture raised poultry and pork. I know that he is raising what kind of cattle? Wagyu. Wagyu cattle, but he doesn't sell it here at the market. So um, I've actually been to his farm. It's really beautiful and lovely. Hope you have a great day. And then we have Rustic Waters Homestead. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And so she has all kinds of wonderful goat milk things. And you also have goat milk available, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, so she offers goat milk from her own farm. And she has lovely breads, my competition, <laughs> sourdough cookies, fudge. Um, is it cajita? Cajeta. Cajeta. Yep. Um, Made with goat milk, too. Awesome. And so they came from Florida. They're also new to our area. So I'm really excited they're here. Yes, I think they beat me here though. <laughs> have a good day, ladies. You too. Good morning. All right, Miranda, tell me about what you have. Um, well, we have all sorts of stuff. So we have hand rolled uh, flour tortillas, um, sourdough English muffins. Um, and then we also do gourmet potato chips. So today we have black, black truffle parmesan, uh, three cheese, and white cheddar. Awesome. Um, and then we also are a fiber arts studio. So we have um, all sorts 
sorts of handmade shelves, blankets, yeah, hand spun yarn. Hats, quilts, all kinds of all awesome of stuff. stuff. Sometimes she brings her spinning wheel here. She actually spins her own yarn. How incredible. It's in the shop. Oh no. She's <laughs> in the shop. Well, have a great day, Miranda. Janet is hiding back there. She's bringing out more goods. All right. So Janet um, comes from Chicago and she has all kinds of yummy salsas and um, oh my goodness, my brain just totally went dead. Hummus, yes. She has hummus and all kinds of yummy things. I'm gonna have to take a break here. I've got customers at my booth. All right, Janet, I did not give your booth justice. So tell me what you have here. Today I have my salsa wine. I have a chocolate hummus today for a woman that ordered it. And today the sauce of the day is, I got a vodka marinara. Awesome, and to go with the vodka marinara, she has My some baguettes. baguette. I have some tomato basil flatbread, and I have some lemon almond biscotti, if you like biscottis, and I brought some ziti. And your ziti comes from Italy. Italy correct. So you import it, and it's super yummy and yes. totally worth it. Yep, it is. Now, tell me about the chocolate hummus. I've had it, and I know it's really yummy, but that might sound weird to people. Why would you want chocolate hummus? Um, actually, it was uh, Dare, wasn't it? Yeah. A lady asked me if I ever do dessert hummuses, and she said, mm -hmm. I've had chocolate. So I went and tried it, and the chocolate and the berry are a big seller, and they love it. And I got to tell you, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. So we it's dip really our fruit slices in it, like apple and things like that. What would what do you put it on? I would put it on also in fruit, but I also would do a um, croissant. Okay. I did with a fig croissant and used it. That makes sense. And well, it was awesome. very good. I'm sorry the phone's ringing. I don't mean to interrupt. That's okay. Feet. Do you need to answer it? No. Okay. <laughs> and you are from Chicago, right? I'm from Chicago, You're born from and bred. Retired so, out here at 18, 2018, and I love it. Um, I can't get any good Italian food, so I actually came out here with my mom and took care of her, and then she's passed away, so these are her recipes. Um, my salsa recipe is a very good friend of mine who's also passed away that much. Okay. Um, but that's awesome. So I know that Janet's one of the people who has imported to this area and she is trying to improve the food culture here because um, the food culture might not be um, what we would like it to be. And so she's one of the people working at improving that. And you also do catering, right? Correct. Awesome. So I'm pretty so happy you're Italian, here. Polish, Spanish. I can pretty much cater anything. I've been in every restaurant there is, but that's why I'm from Chicago, and that's what the nice thing about Chicago is. <laughs> yeah, the food culture. But so we have a lot of imports here. So Janet and then Miranda was originally from Arizona, like we were, and then we had the Rustic Waters family from Florida. So we've got a lot of people who've come in from other areas. And then I'm going to show you this next booth. So. Amanda is conspicuously missing because she hates being on camera, but this is my kid's favorite booth and you can see it's right next to my booth. I like being next to her because she's probably one of the most popular booths there are. She has all these wonderful sweets. She is from New Zealand and um, she was trained as a chef. And so she has really delicious stuff. But again, she's a professionally trained chef who moved to the United States to Las Vegas, but then her husband decided to come back home to his hometown. And so they're here and she's now offering her wonderful goods here. So that brings us around the whole market. I'm back to my booth. It's a little bit smaller today. We had some vendors doing some other things, so they're not all here, but we're hoping for a great day and um, the market will be opening any minute now. Well, thank you. This is Mr. Pat. He is one of my regular customers. He loves to get my holla and it looks like he's getting some jam today. So I love to have you coming out. Thanks for visiting me. Thanks for smiling. <laughs> you bet. Busy morning here, and the women from the retreat aren't even doing their shopping yet. They start their shopping at about 11:30, and they have a two-hour breakout with the vendors to eat lunch and shop. So 
This is a great day at the market. All right, this is it. The market is over and I've had a good day. You can see my whole rack is missing here. All the sourdough sold and almost all the yeast spread. Actually, there's one loaf of sourdough rye left. Um, but otherwise, a really good day. Sold out a bunch of jams and all the eggs and some of the produce. So it was really good. Next, we're going to break down and head out of here. people are finding out about our fantastic market so come on out to go farm Yay! Yay. so Patrice <laughs> is the gal who runs our market here and so she's the coordinator of all of this chaos and I'm super grateful um, I just joined the market in May so I've only been here about four years or four months how long have you been doing this uh, over six years okay very cool well, I love the market and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the future. Awesome. Thank you.